Hi guys, this is Ari from Texture. Today I'm going to install Sitecore Experience Commerce 9.3. So you already would have known that I already have installed um, the Helix uh, solution Sitecore 9.3 with Helix. So I'm going to use the same platform Sitecore um, platform. So I'm not going to install Sitecore uh, 9.3, but I'm only install the Sitecore Experience Commerce with it. So for that, what you need to do, you need to install the yeah sitecore experience commerce before that i'm going to download that one and then i am also going to download the documentation as well because th that is that is kind of the the main helping hand that i'm gonna use okay so we have to thoroughly follow the documentation because the the installation part is really tricky so if you somehow you know miss any of the instruction any of the steps then you're gonna suffer a lot that gonna kill almost entire day so that's why we will be very very careful while we are going to install the site code experience commerce so you're gonna see everything every instructions are there so yeah so the redis part and also the other thing normally i already have configured like the solar and everything so what i really need to do is to to make sure all the instruction that is explicitly mentioned here i follow properly so yes so here you can also see the create a secret client certificate so that should also be very easy because the instructions are already there okay, so this is the main part installing site correctly i'm going to uh, follow every every details of that You can see the the downloading is in progress so once the download will be complete then i will jump into the main installation part of this Okay, so the downloading is done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm going to create a folder in my root directory, commerce deploy, and then I'm going to unzip the zipped content as instructed inside the document. The, the main part is this partial script. So you can see here, I am setting this one as true, means it will skip the storefront installation part. So I'm not going to install the storefront uh, because you know I really need to develop my own storefront or you can say I'm going to start from the scratch so that's why I'm not going to take the default storefront that uh, is provided by Sitecore so you can see this is the file and you have to be very careful because I already have installed the Sitecore 9.3 so I'm going to use the same settings that I already have installed so I have to be very careful by, you know providing all the details and value and everything that I'm doing right now so you have to put your identity server, you have to put your Sitecore experience platform and all the other necessary settings, especially the solar settings and everything that you already have. So um, I'm actually trying, this is the second time, first time I got some sort of error. So I adjusted something because that uh, identity server was not, you know, accurately provided last first time. So now you can see everything is going very smoothly and it will be successful in the end. Awesome. So you can see the deployment uh, is successful. Okay. So now we are going to verify. So you can see here in the Sitecore platform, you will see this um, commerce uh, storefront items that is already set up after the installation. So um, we are going to use the default uh, settings that Sitecore provides us. So everything will keep that as it is. So yeah, I definitely will change along the way. But anyway, let's open the business tools now. So in the business tools, you will see all the Sitecore commerce related applications. So first of all, we have the merchandising manager. You will see the different, I know, authoring environment as well. 
and then you can see the catalog as well so you will see all the existing products by default adventure works provides you will see everything is here and you can definitely upload or create your own product here as well so this is really important because you know through that you can control as a content uh, you know editor you can control everything you can you know create your product you can update your product you can also see the inventory application as well here you can also see the order manager as well so everything that you really need to know from the back inside you will get it here so that's why this application this uh, you know application is really interesting so this application this is a separate application it uses the sitecore identity providers uh, and yeah uh, you will get every every sort of you know control uh, through this uh, business application so i'm going to browse randomly browse couple of products i'm going to see what's the value product id and all the other variations it provides so you know you can also have a look at that as well if you install this one and in the comment if you if you face any problem during the installation this one then please let me know so the my main objective today is to integrate um, the site commerce with our platform so that is already done you can see here so the next part would be integrate your storefront so that's why we need to create our own storefront that i'll do in the next video but this video my site commerce will be ready and you can actually connect your commerce to your authoring environment that is already done you can see here this is my sx storefront my site so this is empty site so i haven't you know taken that existing you know udp package so that's why it is empty uh, but obviously we are going to add our own product here and we are going to add our own controller and i will communicate to the commerce engine through the standard procedure and now the very important is the postman collection you can see here because postman collection is something really important in terms of the debugging part of commerce engine side so if you through this you know postman script you can literally do any kind of operation that you really want to do through the website or storefront so this is also really really important to set up your uh, you know postman script here as well so that i'm going to show you right now so you can see here this postman script you will find in the sdk folder so in the script sorry in the postman actually you will see uh, two environments and also a bunch of different different collections where all the different different role that we have in commerce engine is there and you can test through different different endpoints so here you can see i have already import to you know different environment that we have uh, provided by sitecore adventure work and habitat and you can also see the collections are there as well so let's try first this authentication so in order to communicate to any of the endpoints what you need to do first is to get the token so that you can communicate to other endpoints so that's the way sitecore you know uh, gives us this solution so for that another thing you, you know when you have your environment make sure that all the services that you already installed the you know environment for postman is configured accordingly because you will see this port is not actually the right port because i have changed the port while i was installing the sitecore commerce so i have to make sure that all the environment endpoint that is there configured here in the environment adventure work we have to you know configure accurately like when you can see here the token is successfully collected once you have the token successfully collected then you can actually go forward and call other endpoint that you have so here we have the catalog collection cards api sample collection so everything then you can actually access so for example if we now call the get current card then you will see it is working as well okay so another thing is this identity server so you have to make sure that the identity server is correctly you know provided you can see here it is correctly pro provided that's why you can get that token successfully see otherwise you will not get the token successfully once you get the token means everything is successful now if you go forward and call the get card api you know so the id you'll see here the id is any kind of id that you are going to provide so if the id exists in the system then it will take the existing entity id and it will return you that card but if the id is a new id then it will simply create a new card for you and it will return that card back to you so right now you can see here this guy are card is uh, empty card and you will see all the component and other you know object it is co completely empty you will see here the lines are empty the component yeah, yeah, definitely it has some default component you will see here that's all and next video i'll show you how to add card to postman and the website okay see you there